What's up everybody? Welcome to Plain Techniques. This is your boy Champ and in today's video we are going to discuss about matrix multiplication. Now say you have matrix A and matrix B. Before you can continue with the multiplication of these two matrices you have to check something. Uh, the middle number numbers they must be the same and the last numbers will give you the new order of a matrix right let's make sense out of that now here i have a three by one matrix and a one by three matrix now these two numbers that are in the middle are the same right so it means i can continue with matrix multiplication all right uh, let's take the second part so with the second part we have a 4 by 2 matrix and a 1 by 2 matrix right so these two numbers that are in the middle are not the same so we can not continue with this matrix multiplication uh, the other one is a 2 by 2 matrix and a 2 by 1 matrix see these middle numbers are the same so it means we can continue to multiply these two matrices and the last part we have matrix uh, of the order 5 by 1 and 2 by 2 so these numbers are not the same so we can not continue with this multiplication all right now what is the order of the ones that we decided that we will continue multiplying so the order is the last numbers you take the last numbers right so you take this number it's a three by three all right and then this one we skip it because there's no order since these numbers are not the same so we cannot continue with the multiplication all right we jump to this one all right so the order of this one would be a two and a one so the order will be 2 by 1. All right. That is matrices. Let's jump to the next part. Okay. Well, um, check this out very quickly. Say you want to multiply a matrix E and matrix T for the first scenario. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is to determine the order of these two matrices. Right. So this one is a 3 by one matrix and that one is a one by two matrix now if you check the middle numbers are the same meaning that you can continue with the multiplication now what happens if we do this now we are here we multiply d and e all right cool so what is the order of this matrix this is a one by two matrix and then what about that one that one is a three by one matrix okay so if you check the middle numbers are no longer the same but it's the same two matrices that we used here all right so we cannot continue multiplying these two matrices so my point is the order of which one comes first it matters don't just assume you have to determine the orders and compare or check if these two numbers are the same that is a good one <laughs> when you have a condition where you multiply a matrix with a number this is how you go about it you multiply every element of this matrix with that number so let's do that so it will be 3 multiplied by 1. Okay. Then 3 multiplied by 7. And 3 multiplied by 2. Multiply by 2. And therefore the last part is 3 multiplied by 4. Okay, 
Now, let's do some mathematics. 3 multiplied by 1 equals to 3. Okay? Uh, 3 multiplied by 7 equals to 21. Therefore, 3 multiplied by 2 equals to 6. And then 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 12. Alright? That is how you go about it.